substring is used to extract part of a string with a specified length starting from a given location in an input string. And the syntax for substring is this. So we have the keyword substring. And then in bracket, we have the first expression, which is the character value or the string value. We have a comma and then start and start is where we want to start extracting from. That's where we want to start our substring from. And then we have comma and length, which is the total amount of characters that we want to extract. And the first character in the expression is one. Let's take a look at this. Okay, just make our title and we'll call this substring function. And let's say our, our character word is Madagascar. So let's say Madagascar. So this is our character word. And what we want to do is to extract a substring of Madagascar. So we want part of Madagascar, Madagascar to be extracted. So we'll start with our select statement, then the substring. And we want to extract the first three characters of Madagascar. So with our first our word, which is a character word itself or the string. So we have Madagascar, Madagascar. And we want to extract the first three characters. Now, where do we, where in the word Madagascar do we want to extract from? In this case, because we want to extract the first three, that means we want to start from the first letter, which is M. Now, the first letter, the value will be one. So the way this works is that each of these has a value. Each character has a value. And the, the starting of the value is one. So M will be one, A will be two, D will be three, A will be four, and so on. Now, what's the total length of character that we want to extract? We want three, okay? When we run this, so now we have MAD has been extracted. The first three characters has been extracted. Let's try another example. Let's see how string value is SQL SQL server tutorial and what we want to do is a substring we need a substring of this string and the substring we need is server so we have our keyword select we have substring our second keyword and then we have to, we need this because this is the character value. Now we have our comma and we want to extract server. So what's the first letter? What's the value of the first letter that we need to, or the first, the, the value of the first character of the substring that we need? So we have S is one, Q is two, L is three. We have a space, which is four. And then five, S is five, which is the beginning of where we want to start our substring. So we have five. And then what's the total length? At what, what point do we want to extract up to? And that's where our end. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's six. All right. When we run this, we have our extra extraction, which is server. Let's apply this to our books table from books. All right, what we want is a, why don't we retrieve a substring of the title column? So we'll retrieve our, our first name column, our last name column, and then a substring of the title. And this will be similar to when, what we did when we used the left function. Okay, so we we'll, have uh, select, and we need our auto first name tab. We need our auto 
last name and now we need the substring of our title and we want to start from the beginning the first character so one and let's do let's do nine so we want a total of nine characters to be extracted and that's that's that that's fine for now from books let's run this so we have the extraction we have the first nine characters of our column and we can also then concatenate this with say dot 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 so i'm gonna copy this okay and what we can do now is we can concatenate the the substring of our title with another value so right here would have concat open our bracket and then we want to concatenate this with let's say six dots one two three four five six we close that okay and let's run this and we can call this as short title we can call it short title All right so this is how we use substring we use it to pull part of a string value within uh within you know our table or within a, a text that we've created